So how does anemia lead to higher blood pressure? When you anemic, there is less hemoglobin in your blood to carry to transport the oxygen around. You can have two types of anemia. You can have sickle cell anemia where it is a genetic disease and the shape of the red blood cells is affected. So it affects the transport of oxygen in your blood. Or you can have iron deficiency anemia. Maybe you just haven't been eating enough iron in your diet. Maybe you've been losing a little bit too much blood uh, in your menstrual flow. Maybe you've been bleeding internally in your digestive system. Maybe you've been donating blood. All of this can lead to lower the amount of red blood cells or hemoglobin in your body. And what happens when you have less red blood cell or less hemoglobin in your bloodstream to carry the oxygen around. The oxygen level in your blood will go down. Your body interpret that as an emergency situation. And your sympathetic nervous system will be activated. That means that your heart will be pumping a lot harder and faster so that the brain and other parts of your body can get the oxygen supply that they need to function properly. And if you are anemic for a long time, then your blood pressure will have to stay up for a long time. That is how anemia can lead to higher blood pressure.